guys, welcome back to my channel. So I get asked a lot of questions about my tan and whether or not it's real because I live in Australia. But if you actually follow my Instagram, you may have noticed that I work with a company called Bondi Sands. Now they are an amazing Australian tanning company and I absolutely love them. And because every time I post a photo featuring them, I get asked a lot of questions from you guys. So I thought it would be fun to make a tanning routine video where I show you all my little tips and tricks. So I'm one of those people who absolutely love having a tan. I have kind of olive skin naturally, so people think that's like a blessing or whatnot, but the weird thing is, whenever you're not tanned, I kind of feel like green a little bit. Like I feel like I look pale and a little sickly. So for me, having a nice tan just makes me feel a lot more confident. I feel like my clothes look better and my teeth look whiter and just all around feel a lot better. But I don't want to spend too much time in the sun because obviously I want to look after my skin really well. So for me, using a tan like Bondi Sands is just absolutely perfect. It fits really, really well into my weekly routine and it means that I just have a year-round great tan and I'm kind of photo ready you know whenever I need to be <laughs> so typically in winter I might just go for this one this is the gradual tan and the reason I use this in winter is because I am probably a lot paler and at that point I don't want to put on something that's super super dark I just want to get a little bit of a glow going so in winter I tend to just go for a gradual tan just because it gives me that kind of little bit of a sun-kissed healthy look without changing the color of my skin too much but right now here in Australia it's summer so I do actually have a little bit of a real tan just from hanging out outside in the sun and at this point in time or at this season I will go for ultra dark so in summer I want to be super brown super bronzed and this is the perfect perfect color for that now obviously ultra dark can be a little bit daunting because you don't want ultra dark hands and feet and ankles and things like that but I'm gonna show you my routine and hopefully you can avoid those mishaps <laughs> So to start off, step one, it's really important to scrub. So you just get in the shower, get a nice hot shower going, and Bondi Sands actually have these mitts, which are really great, like they are so textured. And what I like to do is in the shower, I put coconut oil on me. So especially if you have tan on from the week before or something, you can kind of stand there with some coconut oil on and let that soak in for a minute or so. And then just use this mitt and and kind of rub off the rest of the fake tan especially in the dry areas like the elbows and the knees and the ankles and also you smell like you're on a tropical island holiday which is just awesome <laughs> so step two is just to shave and make sure you're super smooth all over and then what you have to do is actually before you apply the tan is wait a couple of hours one thing that I used to do is kind of as soon as I got out of the shower I would put the tan on and it used to kind of make those little dots in where your follicles are or where your pores have opened up from the hot water so the best tip here is to kind of wait a couple of hours just let your skin calm down let all your pores close and then apply the tan and step three is moisturize so just before you're ready to apply your tan grab a light moisturizer you don't want like a really heavy body butter or anything like that you want a really light moisturizer but it's a great idea to apply that to your elbows and a little bit to your knees and a little bit to your ankles as well just to avoid there being any buildup of tan in those areas now step four is the fun part actually tanning so the way that I like to apply my tan is with one of these mitts these are brilliant because they're plastic on the inside there so they protect your hands from going super brown <laughs> just apply a couple of squirts directly onto this mitt and then I start at my calves at my legs so I work in motions just stroking straight up the leg all the way around and then once I finish my calf, I move on to my thigh and I stroke more, I put more on this mitt and I stroke it all the way up my thigh. Now I like to apply a fair bit to my thigh and my butt area especially just because for me that's one of those areas that's kind of hard to tone and you know what they say, if you can't tone it, tan it. <laughs> 
<laughs> it just makes me feel a lot more confident to have really nice deeply tanned legs especially if you're in a bikini or something it just looks like really nice legs <laughs> Now, once I've done my thighs and butt, I move back to my feet. So with the same mitt, it's fine if there's a little bit of residue of the ultra dark, I then actually switch to the gradual tan. So at this point on the feet, I just wanna put the gradual tan and that's what I rub into just the tops of my feet and blend it up towards the ankle. Now this is a really good trick if you wanna make sure that your feet aren't too dark or your ankles don't have like splotches all over them. This is the product that I like to use to blend upwards and make that kind of graduation into a really dark tan. Now the reason I started at my legs rather than my torso or my upper body is in the past I've tried starting here and doing my stomach and then what I realized is, oh no, I now need to bend forward to do my legs, which was a problem because my stomach was creasing <laughs> when I was bending forward to do my legs. So then I would stand back up and I would have like these creases of tan. So for me, it's the best idea to get the legs out of the way and then you never have to bend forward which means your tan doesn't crease at all throughout this application process. I then use the same stroking motions to apply the tan all the way up my stomach, my décolletage, my shoulders and down my arms and then I, a lot of the time I'll be honest I make Kane do my back. <laughs> it's kind of part of his boyfriend duties. <laughs> so then I leave my neck and my face and my hands for last. Now the reason I do that is because I'm going to go back to this gradual tanning product instead. I use the mitt and a tiny squirt of the gradual tan and I just kind of fill in and blend down towards my collarbones here. And then I use the same product on my face, but I don't use it all over my face. What I have been doing, and this is a nifty little trick, is I've been getting a beauty blender and applying a really small pump of the gradual tan to the beauty blender and then just blending that all the way where I would normally contour my face. So just around my hairline and chiseling out my cheekbones. And then I even sometimes do a tiny little boop on my nose and you honestly wake up in the morning and you feel like you don't even need makeup. You just wake up with a tan in all the perfect places and you basically have like a permanent contour on your face. It's brilliant, you've got to try that. And the final step is blending the hands. So I I don't use a mitt for this section at all. I just apply the gradual tan to the back of my hand and then I rub the two backs of my hands together and just apply it all over, blending upwards and then blending down onto my fingers just using the back of my hands. And it means the front of my hands never get tan on them. So you can see there, I mean, I filmed this last night and I've got no sort of embarrassing orange marks anywhere. My hands aren't brown, but the rest of my body is super, super ultra tan. So then that's basically it. I wait around for a little while without putting clothes on until the product is all dry. And then I put some super daggy long pajamas on and jump into bed. So yeah, that's a really great look that night. <laughs> but at least for the rest of the week, I have a really nice tan on. So I just sleep with that on. The next morning I shower it off. When I shower, the first time I shower, don't use soap. Literally just rinse it off completely and then step out and dry and pat dry with a towel. Don't scrub or rub anything too hard and just let that tan set in really nicely. And that's it. I just repeat that whole process every week. I normally do it on like a Thursday night or something so that my tan is just perfectly on point for the weekend and that's that's how I keep my tan going all year round. So I hope you enjoyed those little tips and tricks. If you do try them, especially if you try the face contour, let me know, I wanna hear what you guys think. If you enjoy these types of videos, let me know in the comments below. I've got a few more ideas, so I'd love to share them with you. And if you've got any ideas of stuff that you would like me to share or talk about, also let me know. And please give me a thumbs up, guys. That would mean the absolute world to me. And subscribe if you wanna see everything else that we're up to. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.